Hey folks, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook, and today what I want to talk to you about are some ways that students can collaborate <laughs> digitally and visually in class, You and we're going to focus on this one tool, and it's called the AWE app. It's like AWE, like cute kitty cat, like A-W-W, but, but it actually stands for something. It stands for a web whiteboard, and so that's what you're seeing right here. And so this is a really cool uh, tool that allows you, like it says here, it's a touch-friendly online whiteboard app. Let's use your computer, tablet, or smartphone to easily draw sketches, collaborate with others, and share them. And it says with the world even if you want. So if you've got a laptop, if you've got a Chromebook, uh, iPad, you know, whatever it is that you're using, as long as you're able to pull this up in your web browser, then you're able to basically draw on an online whiteboard and bring other people in to draw with you too. And so there's lots of ways to use that. That's something that I'm gonna outline in my blog post. And But I wanted to give you a couple of the features that you can use here. So it says just start drawing by clicking on this button. So now we have this whiteboard open. And so we've got a couple of buttons over on the side. The one up at the top here allows you to choose your color. And that color goes for when you're drawing, when you're using text, uh, basically whatever. This next button down here is the size button. Now this goes for size when you're sketching, but also for the size of your text too. And so you can you can choose that. Now this right here, this is kind of where it all happens. This is all of your actions. And so you've got a button right here that lets you basically draw. And you can see that's with that size. If we make it bigger, it gets bigger. If it's smaller like this, of course you can change colors too. All right, so that's that. Now, if you this is the eraser, obviously. So if there's something that you've done, you want to erase, you can erase small. See how it's erasing small there? Or we can come over here and make it really big. That's probably the easiest way to erase if you want to do a whole bunch of it. The cut button, so basically that's going to let you select this whole section to, to cut out. You've got text. Now, the thing that I sort of struggled with at first was I kept making small text, and I didn't realize that the text size has to do with these circles here. So if I want to make really big text, we want to make sure that we have that highlighted. We can change the color, too, even after you've typed the text. But here's the thing. Once you click away from the text, there, now I've clicked away from it, and now I can't edit it anymore. So if I want to remove this, I basically have to erase it and start over again, which isn't a big deal because you can always just type text again. Now, if you want to type small text, see how I changed the tip size here? And so this is small text, and you can go anywhere in between. So that's the text. With images, you can click here, and you can either pull an image up like I did a one of my uh, logos from my blog. So you can see here, you can use these buttons to resize it. You can move it around. And then once you've got it where you want, you just hit the checkbox. And then it will add it to your whiteboard. And then we've got the undo button, we've got the trash, and then this is the, the hand allows you to move around on the canvas. Now the thing I didn't realize when I first started using this, and you can see it up here in the top right, is that we're only using a small segment of the canvas here. So we can go all the way down here, and all the way you can see in the little square up here, and all the way back up here. It's actually a pretty big canvas. So what I've done is sometimes I'll just draw within this area and then I'll use something else to crop the image and crop all that excess out. So you've got all of these features that you can use. And then the, where it really gets interesting is right here when we click on this button. You can hit invite to board and you can have other people come in. You can do that either by sharing this link right here. You can send an email to someone to give them this link. You can have a QR code. So if you've got iPads, this is really, really useful. And so we hit close here and then you can also download your image once you're done and you can even share your image. And if you've got multiple people, then you can you can see who it is that's that's using it. So as far as the collaboration features, you could have multiple students working within the same board just by sharing it. So if you had a group of three, they could all work together on the same board to create something. 
Or you could even take that link and you can send it to another class in your school district, in your school, in another part of the state, another part of the world. I mean, really, with with a link and the ability to share like this, it, it can go pretty far. So anyway, those are some of the basic features of how this works. It's great. It goes, it's kind of like device agnostic. I've heard it called where it doesn't matter what device you're using. So those are some of the basic features. You can head over to ditchthattextbook.com and search for a web whiteboard, or you can even search for collaborate digitally and visually. If you do that search, you should be able to find my blog post with ideas for how you can use this in the class. So I hope that's useful to you. I'll see you in the next video.